Okay, so this video is the instructions for our stoichiometry dream car project. You should have this handout. And since childhood, many people have dreamed about cars that they want to own. Some have dreamed about muscle cars, while others prefer sleek sports cars or large trucks. However, in recent years, we've learned that human usage of fossil fuels or gasoline is greatly affecting the environment. The carbon dioxide released from vehicles has caused our planet to warm at an unprecedented rate. And you're owned, if you owned your dream car, what effect would it have on the environment? So octane, the formula is C8H18. That's what octane is, gasoline. And uh, the equation for the combustion of octane in a car happens like this. You have two moles of octane reacting with 25 moles of oxygen gas. And the products are 16 moles of CO2 and 18 moles of H2O. And that's when you start off with two moles of, of octane. So you're going to be comparing three cars. Your dream car, your compact car, and a hybrid car. <clears throat> so the first thing you have to do... Um, it says in the tables below, write the names of your dream car, a compact car, and a hybrid car. All right, you can look up, um, you can research on the internet. You know, you probably know what your dream car is, but you can look up, you know, compact cars and hybrid cars and put an example. You need the name, the model, and the year. Next, for each type of car, well, first of all, as you find your cars, what you want to use, go to the internet, find a picture of it, and send that picture to Miss Barger to her email, and she can print it out for you. Because what we're eventually going to do at the end, after we figure up all this, is we're going to do a poster on this, and you're going to need a picture of your uh, three cars. So if you find those first on the internet, what you want to use, email those to Miss Barger and let her print those out on my computer, if that's possible. If not, we'll figure something else out. All right, so you've got your car's name, the model of the year. You print, uh, sent uh, pictures and you printed those out. And now you want to, you need some information about these. You need the miles per gallon. So research on the internet each one of your cars and find out how many miles per gallon it gets. Now I'm just gonna make up a, a one to kind of work through to show you what you're gonna be doing. So let's say my dream car, whatever it is, the miles per gallon, I look it up and it's 20 miles per gallon. Now, you know, cars are gonna be different, you know, so you make sure you use your number. This is just a hypothetical. So I need to figure out next the gallons of gasoline used per year. And it tells me, assume that you'll drive 10,000 miles per year using the miles per gallon that you found last up. How many gallons will each car use per year? All right, so, if you get 20 miles per gallon and you're going to drive uh, 10,000 miles per year, all right, you want to know how many gallons that's going to take. We're just going to take 10,000 and divide it by the miles per gallon. So if I have 10,000 and it's mine gets 20 miles per gallon, I'm going to see how many gallons it's going to use. I'll just take 10,000 divided by 20. And it gets, say, my dream car, I'm going to use 500 gallons per year. All right, and you'll do that for each one. You know, if my compact car got 15, I take 15 divided by 10,000. All right, once you get your gallons used, next, you need, you don't need your units to be in, in gallons. It needs to be in grams, and it tells you, that one gallon of octane is approximately 2,800 grams. So you want to calculate how many grams of gasoline you'd be used. So you're going to take, you know, I calculated 500, gram, 500 gallons I was going to use. So I would take 500, and to convert that to grams, I simply multiply by 2,800. And you'll do that for each one. And that gives me 1 million... 400,000. So that's what would go right here in my hypothetical dream car. 
That's how many grams of gasoline I'm going to use. Next, once you know how many grams of octane each car you use, your, use your stoichiometry skills to find how many grams of CO2 each car will produce in a year. So what you're doing is, and let's say my example here, I'm starting off with one. 1,000, 1,400,000 grams of octane, which is C8H18. And I want to go to grams of CO2. And like I said, it's a three-step problem. Stoichiometry problem. First, you're going to convert grams of octane to moles. So that would be, you know, 1,400,000 grams in my example divided by the molar mass of C8H18 that would give me moles. My next step will be to go from moles of C8H18 to grams of CO2 using my balanced equation. If I go back to my balanced equation, it tells me that for every two moles of C8H18, that reacts, I get 16 moles. So I'm going to use those numbers to help me convert from moles of C8H18 to moles of CO2. And then my last step, once I'm in moles of CO2, will be to convert that to grams. So again, you know, I'll go from my first step, we to go from grams of C8H18 to moles of C8H18. Using the molar mass, take my grams, divide it by the molar mass of C8H18. I gotta calculate that. My second step, I'm gonna be in moles of C8H18. I wanna go to moles of CO2 using my balance equation. It's a two to 16 ratio. Every time two moles reacts, I get 16 moles. So I want to convert using my balanced equation. Then my third step, I'll be by then I'll be in moles of CO2. I want to convert that to grams of CO2 simply by multiplying by the molar mass of CO2. All right. So once you do that, you'll do the same thing for your compact car, and then you will do the same thing for your hybrid car. You'll do three steps, then you'll answer your questions, answer all these questions, and after you're finished with all that, you will make a poster. Now, the poster boards we've been using might not be big enough to uh, do all this on. You might have to use a couple of them. It might take three of them and put one on each one, but you're going to include the name of the project. You can use these sample projects to go by. Uh, use the, the balanced equation. Uh, your three pictures of your cars la labeled and then all the information that you used and all the stoichiometry that you did. Now if you noticed the way they did stoichiometry in these problems <clears throat> is they did it, they multiplied it all out. This is one way you can work stoichiometry problems is you know doing it all in one step. We multiply it out. I didn't teach you that way because uh, you know like this is our first step that we do. This is the second step. This is the third, because students of the, over the years that I've taught used to teach this way, they confused them, and they they are not good at canceling out units, you know, like like canceling out these things and stuff. So I'll teach you to do it in three individual steps. So you can do it the way that you work these problems. You can show your work on your poster, but you can use these to go by, uh, you know, with the, the calculations and stuff. Just don't get confused that when they do the calculations, they multiply them all out in one step. You know, this first step here, all they did was convert to moles. The second step, they went from moles of C8H18 to moles of CO2. Their third step was just to find the grams of CO2. All right, so you want to do your project, make these look really good. They'll be a, a, a pretty big grade and make them neat. You'll have about two and a half, three days in class to do this. That should be plenty of time for you to get this done, get it turned in. Also, if you're having trouble, you know, work with a classmate on this, someone who understands it better, if you're having any issues with this, you know, stoichiometry material. 
And also, you can message me if you have any, you know, if you're confused and you need me to make another video about it.